Okay, so in this video, I thought I would just, um, you know, do like a day in the life of what I do every day to um, do marketing online. And it's so many steps and it's so multifaceted that I thought I would just share that with you. One thing you can notice over here, I turned off my camera in Loom. And so um, a picture, just a still photograph came up because, um, you know, I haven't had time to get on my makeup and, and get in my contacts and all that, but I didn't want to wait to start working. And the plants need watering. It's super hot here. Um, and we planted new plants and I went outside. So I look like a gardener and not a marketer at a minute. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to turn the camera on and record what I'm doing. And you may hear someone talking in the background. Um, my husband's on a conference call, meanwhile, in another room. But here we go. So I thought yesterday I would just show you um, how I uploaded a new product to Gumroad. I did a mini class on how to turn your PLL products into something unique. A lot of us, you know, we bought like a planner or a printable and we want to resell it. But if to do that, you have to make it unique for most creators. I actually have a membership site where um, I offer people who sign up printables and planners that are already done for you. But they're the, the only way you can edit the ones that I have they're in PDF form is to upload them to Canva and just add some additional elements. The basic elements can't be changed, but the videos that go with them can be changed. But that's another story. So if I go back to what I was doing um, yesterday, I thought for a change, instead of making like a full fledged um, ClickFunnels sales page, and I'll show you what I normally do is um, I go into ClickFunnels. And what is ClickFunnels? ClickFunnels is just a software that I use to create um, like many, many blogs, many landing pages, mostly sales pages. And I've been using this for years. I'm on the $97 a month plan, but it's my business. So I figure, you know, and I take it off, it's tax deductible. So that's what I do. But instead of doing one of these pages, and it's super cool because once you have a page done, you can actually just go in and clone a funnel step like this. If you clone it, it will absolutely, you know, make a copy and then you can go in. You don't have to start from scratch with every product that you create. And I know a lot of people, they're, they're different software, but I've stuck with ClickFunnels because I used to jump around when I was new online. I used to jump, I mean, around every time some new software came out, you know, I would jump around and and buy a new one. And then I'd have to spend hours and hours changing over everything I had done. And finally, I thought, you know what, I'm not going to do that anymore. If it's working, well, they say if it's not broken, don't fix it. So I thought I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick with ClickFunnels. It works for me. It's an investment in my business, just as if I had a brick and mortar business, I would have to rent a building. Well, this is I rent you know, um, pages on their site and they maintain them. I used to have a WordPress site for years and I kept getting hacked and I just got tired of it. It was on WordPress. I always wanted to be a blogger, but turns out it just wasn't my thing. And I just kept getting taken down over and over. So I thought, wonder if there's a software I can use where, you know, they have the burden of keeping it online and, and not having hackers take them down. And, you know, there have been moments where my ClickFunnels pages have gone down, but they're just moments and they're very rare. And it's nothing compared to waking up and finding out that your website has disappeared. And, <laughs> and you have to call the, de um, the, develop the hosting company and you have to call GoDaddy and find out where, who redirected your 
files and who took your files down and who has stolen your website. And so this, you know, using ClickFunnels has been um, a real blessing to me. It really has. And I highly respect and have learned so much from Russell Brunson. But, you know, that's just chasing a rabbit. But just wanted you to know, um, yeah, I'm just doing like a day in the life. And a day in the life of a marketer is not just one site. I use ClickFunnels for my sales pages. And I use AWeber for my emails. So going back to where I started, because <laughs> I'm just like hopping all over the place. Again, I wanted to do a new product on Gumroad. Gumroad is um, really newbie friendly. Like if you have never put up a website and you don't want to go and learn all the bells and whistles of a sales page, and I'll show you what it looks like um, on the back end, like inside the editor. But, you know, whatever you choose to do, you're going to have a learning curve. So just prepare yourself that, okay, my brain's going to hurt a little bit, but I'm going to get through this and I'm going to do it. So it's loading. Here we go. So see, all of this is editable. All of this, this is, um, you know, you can add videos. You can um, change the colors. And so once you learn the editor, it's it's a breeze. But it took me a while to learn all this. You know, how to add, you know, how to add an element, a headline, a paragraph. But once you learn it, it they're all really similar. These editors, this is very similar to WordPress. And it's similar to other software. It's just a little bit different format look it's a different look and yeah it took me time to learn it but it was so worth it because it has enabled me to make thousands of dollars in sales of my own products plus I'm an affiliate for lots of other products so I love it and again I can clone the page if I don't want to start over say I wanted to do another workshop and again, you don't have to show your face. You can do the same thing with a little picture of yourself. If you're doing a workshop and just recording it, you can record it in Loom and then come back here and, you know, clone a page and then just add the details of what you're talking about. And boom, you have a new workshop that you can refer to on YouTube or Instagram or wherever you do your marketing. Because once you create the thing, then you have to sell the thing is what I always say. Creating it is half the battle and then the other half is selling it. So you have to really, you have to pick a social media platform of your choice, unless you just want to learn how to do paid ads. That's your two choices. Either do something every day on social media in organic. Organic means that the site itself brings traffic to you, you know, like on YouTube. YouTube brings people to me. Um, Pinterest, which I love, and I do run a dollar a day on certain pins. I love Pinterest. I really do. Because, see, if I run like a dollar a day on these pins, I'm starting to get subscribers. And if you make, experts say that if you Make a dollar a subscriber a day if you have 10 a, a month. Okay, say, say for example, theoretically, nothing promised. If you made, if you have 10,000 subscribers and you know they're interested in a certain thing, like for me, it's printables, then theoretically, I should be making $10,000 a month. And I have. Um, so, but it's not consistent. It's different every month. Okay. So I'm working on building up my subscriber list again, because people, we all unsubscribe, right? We all subscribe and unsubscribe daily. So getting back to Gumroad, Gumroad is a very newbie friendly site. And the wonderful thing is it's like all in one and it's super easy. When someone buys your thing, your product, they actually um, you they actually start an email list of your buyers. 
uh, and I don't want to show anybody's email, but people that buy, so um, say this was 40 individual sales, and I think some people uh, bought more than one. So say 40 people, 40 subscribers, it's awesome. That's like, theoretically, again, I can't promise anything, is would be $40 a month for me just from Gumroad subscribers. And then you can send them emails. And I haven't done that in a while. So I'm going to do that today. Um, I'm going to send an email. But anyway, getting back to the products, it's super easy to load up a product. And this is um, this is the club I was telling you about earlier where I give you five printables that you can resell as is. You don't even have to change them at all. If you want to load them up to... Um, canva and add some graphics you can do that but it also comes with um, video templates i make these every month i go in and create these one by one and they look like this so it gives you not only what to sell like here's an example of the valentine planner so i give you something to sell and then i give you videos to sell it with and i give you videos for Pinterest and Instagram. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check that out below. Um, the videos uh, are super fun. And there's, it says 20 months, but we're up to two years worth. So there's 24 months of printables and 24 months of videos that match the printables. So pretty cool. I really, really enjoy um, providing that service. And for right now, that's the price if you're interested in that. Okay. So going back <laughs> once more, this is the product that I created yesterday. Okay. So if I wanted to edit it and I wanted to make some changes, this is what you do. You would, um, you put in your title of what the video is about or the ebook it can be an ebook it can be a video and um, in this case i made a video and i was showing how to create printables using canva and using plr but you can also do it from scratch you could take that video and actually make something from scratch and the site i used to do that is super fun it's called um Creative Fabrica. Some people call Fabrica. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, I love it. Absolutely love it because graphic, graphics here are just amazing and you can actually get lost in here and they have fonts too. So, and they do allow you to do, um, there's a section just for print on demand that gives you the rights to put these on t-shirts and coffee mugs, which I have done and sold them on etsy and yeah i mean it's amazing absolutely amazing so i take images from here after of course i don't take them i buy a subscription and then i look at the um you always want to read the rights the commercial and full pod usage allowed of what this it, it's very very helpful because i'm a visual person so it says you are allowed to, you are not allowed to, but what they do is give you pictures of, which is very helpful um, about when you're doing designs, what is allowed and what is not allowed. In other words, you have to create something unique that doesn't compete with the artist. You have to change it enough where it's not exactly the same, okay? But that's where I get my graphic images from, for my sales pages, for my videos. And in making this printable, this set of printables yesterday, and here's the public view of it so you can see what it looked like. It was so fun just to go in there and change it up with images that I bought from Creative Fabrica. And it's a little penguin family. And it all started because I have a school, a digital creators club. I have two clubs. I have a digital creators club, which 
<coughs> is here. And this is where um, I go in every day and I talk to, you know, my pe these are my people. <laughs> I talk to them. I give them free classes. I give them free tips, free coaching Monday through Friday. And it's really, really cool. In the classroom, every time I make a product, I sell it to the public. But, and it's not every time, it's not every product, but a lot of products I put in here for free. There's one, a quick start map, four ways I make money with Pinterest, how to begin affiliate marketing videos, how to upload your first Pinterest pin, four easy steps to give your group members some Pinterest love. And that's where we go into Pinterest and we comment on each other's pins and we like them. And it helps with the SEO, the search engine optimization in Pinterest. Because when in Pinterest and Instagram and Google and YouTube, they're all the same as far as uh, and any website, they run on keywords. That's the fuel. That's their, um, that's their coffee. They run on keywords because when somebody's searching for something, they want to serve up what they want. It's like fast food. You know, you go through the fast food window and you ask for a burger. Well, they're not going to hand you a fish stick. They're going to give you a burger. It's the same thing with all of these um, sites like Pinterest and YouTube. People type in a keyword. There, okay, so say for example, I'm in the fast food window at YouTube. I put in how to content creator because I want to make more videos for YouTube because I want to get monetized and get AdSense revenue as a side income. So if I put in how to content creator, okay, and I'm waiting, Google is gonna send me a platter of videos. This is what I ordered. I ordered how to content creator. So YouTube is gonna hand me on a platter all the videos of how to content creator. Okay, same thing with Pinterest. If I put in, because I love affiliate marketing, one of my searches I did yesterday was affiliate Pinterest. Up here, it's your pins. Here, it's all pins. I don't want to see just my pins. I want to see across all of the millions of searches on Pinterest. What are people making pins? What do they look like? Not that I copy them, but I can model after what is being successful. And as you can see, these little numbers pop up. Look at that. That's amazing. How to start affiliate marketing. 3,968 people have repinned this to their boards. They've saved it. That Well, they've repinned it. And this one means they've saved it. This one means they've liked it, they've hearted it, or they've commented on it. Well, I guess it's different. This one is just a little heart. This was comments. And so that was 12 months ago. So you may say that's not a lot for a year. But the wonderful thing about Pinterest is it's a slow train. Think about getting on an express train, which is pretty much YouTube and Facebook. Those are pretty fast. People see things pretty fast because people get notifications. If they sign up to your channel and they turn on notifications, they're going to see immediately when you upload a new video. Facebook has notifications also. So does Instagram. Pinterest, not that I'm aware of, but most of uh, the statistics say that most people coming into Pinterest are looking to buy something. So that's the advantage of being on all these platforms. But you really do need to just pick one because if you don't, you'll get so overwhelmed, you won't do any. Okay, that's happened to me before. And you'll get burned out. So you want to pick one platform and go all in on it. When you get to where you know what is selling, 
then you can do a video on YouTube um, and Pinterest and Instagram and Facebook. The cool thing about YouTube is when I do a video without much thought, I can actually just share my video. You probably already know this. You can actually go into right here is a share button and it allows you within seconds you can share your video across LinkedIn Pinterest Twitter or X Facebook blogger and that's where I stop because I'm not signed up to the rest of these but you could actually sign up to all of these sites and within one click Let's just do LinkedIn, but I've already done this, so it's not going to, it's not going to like me reposting. You could post it. Boom. You can put keywords. You could put a money link right there, or you can just say, check out my video. You could put a link to your pro, your ebook, a link to your website, a link to your YouTube channel. And that way, without overwhelming yourself, you have made a video and you have shared it across the internet because the more content you have online, the more likely you are to build a subscriber list and then you can talk to them every day and you can send them offers about your product or an affiliate product, which is what I do every day. Okay, so going back to, I keep coming back to Gumroad. I made this product, I did this video, and I showed how to take this, okay, this is like the template, and this is what it looks like, and all you do is, you know, change the text, change the graphic, change the animal, change it to something else. And I'll link to that below too. And the cool thing about Canva is they have built-in mock-ups like this that you can just, you know, you could just drag and drop. So I gave you an example and then I give the template where you just go in and you put your own text of whatever you're wanting to do with your printable. It could be for a children's nursery and you want to do wall art, or it could be just an eight and a half, you know, printable. One key I want to tell you that I found out online is sell with emotion. I'm going to do a video just about that. I'm making a note here. If you sell with emotion, um, you have such a huge opportunity <laughs> to make sales. And again, nobody can promise you anything online, but I'm just telling you what's worked for me and so many others. You see how this evokes emotion. When I saw this little guy, I'm assuming he's a porcupine, not a hedgehog. I'm not sure. It made me smile. It evoked emotion. I thought, wow, I got to do a printable with him because he's so cute, right? So I did a class about that. I went into Gumroad. I, and again, I tell y'all, if you watch my channel, I love Loom because after you record a video, Loom gives you a summary of your video. Okay, right here. Look at this. Here's a summary. It's already done for me with chapters, with a transcript. So I just copy that. I put it in here in the product description. Canva allows you to do a preview if you're doing printables. That's a preview. It's public. Nobody can download your stuff. It's just a public preview. And then I'm not going to hit this because it shows you the URL of the content. But that's where you put your video link that is the product that somebody buys. And then here again, with just a few clicks 
of the button, you can share your Gumroad product on X or Twitter and Facebook. And you can copy the URL if you're sending it out in an email. Okay. And then the other thing I love about Gumroad, besides it being easy, and yes, it's free to upload, but they take a 10% fee when you make a sale, but it's worth it to me. It's like a free website. And if this sells, then I know that I can put it on a, a long, I can make a lot, I should spend a lot more time and put it on a ClickFunnels sales page. Um, but it allows you to do what's really, people really love this feature and it's pay what you want. Okay, so let's go down. Okay, so say for example, all right, you can toggle this off or toggle this on. There's something about being able to control that you can pay what you want, but you can put a minimum because I used to, I did experiment with this. I put a dollar and some people, it's amazing. There's a certain percentage of people who are going to pay you just a dollar. There's some that will pay $2 and then there's some that will pay $10. It's like a tip. Okay. So it just depends on how big a tipper is the person that is going to buy your product is. So you could put like $9 here. And then if you put allow customers to pay what they want, they have to pay at least $9. That's the minimum amount. And the suggested amount, you can suggest $27, but they don't have to pay more than $9. Okay. Does it work? Yeah, it works. It works. The other cool thing is Gumroad is a marketplace within itself and people will go, let me just go to gumroad.com. People bought my stuff, my products, and I started off with like little $7 products and people would buy and I didn't promote it at all. It was only in Gumroad and people would buy because they found it within Gumroad. So Gumroad has enough traffic that it's a little marketplace. Think of it like a little market down the street and people are going in to shop. People know enough people know about Gumroad that I made sales without ever having to promote it anywhere else. And that is super cool. Now here's all the different categories inside of Gumroad. So if I go in and I look for Canva, which is one of the keywords that I put on my product, I don't know that it's got had time to show up yet. Let's see, because I want to see if it's in, if it's searchable. And if it's not, I can go in and tweak the keywords so it is searchable. So I can see what is selling. See right here, $397. You can tell, and not everybody leaves a review, but you can tell which products are selling. There usually will be a lot of reviews. Okay, look at this. 4.9, 317 people have left a review. There may be more purchases. And she or he, Jose, is selling this for $47. All right, so if I put this in my calculator, and you be, might be faster than I am at multiplying. So 47 times 317 is $14,899. Now, I don't know how long this has been here, but it doesn't really matter. That's $14,899 minimum that Jose has made for this Instagram course. That's awesome. That is totally awesome. Okay, so... Here's another one, 60 people, 60 times 49. Okay, let's do that. 60 times 49, $2,940. Not bad. I wonder if that's right, times 60. Yeah, so almost $3,000 for this course on using Google search traffic. 
Wow, look at that. So their, their um, products I'm noticing are sort of broad. It's not real niche down, which is, you know, a good observation to make. So let's see, no ratings. All right, so I'm not showing up there yet, so I may need to tweak my title. Let's see if I do Canva printable, see what comes up. And the prices are all over the place. $7, $50, Mompreneur. Okay, so I need to tweak my keywords so I get found in here. Okay, so that's part of what you're seeing what I do on a daily basis. And a lot of it's like trial and error. You just get in there and do the work and don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. All right, here's another thing. I want to, I want you to see this really, really lights me up. Whoops, here we go. I want you to see some of the testimonials, which again, nothing's guaranteed. As you can see, some people make zero. But um, there is, there is a page, I'm trying to find it where it's testimonials. Okay, I'm going to go back to Google. I'm going to go back to my fast food. No wonder I spelled it. So Gumroad testimonials. Okay, and I'm going to go in here. No, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Hmm, where is that page? Let's see. Come Road Success Stories is when I want to be served up. All right, well, here's one anyway. Medium, Ryan. How I made $24,500 selling digital products in just 21 days. So that's something to look forward to right there. Um, here it is. This is the page I'm looking for. 102 creators who've each earned over $100,000 share their single best tip for aspiring creators. And you will want to go in and just go in and read these because it will light up your mind to what is possible. You know, does it happen for everyone? No, it happened for these 102 people. Okay. So anyway, this video is getting way too long, but I thought that might be helpful to you to see what is possible and what are people doing online to monetize their digital products. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you.